have decided that I need a GoPro. Well, I want a GoPro. I think, I think that I want a GoPro. I've decided that I think I want a GoPro. Why do I think that I want a GoPro? Well, let me tell you. This past weekend, my boys and I went to the card show, and as I was chasing them around, trying to get footage of them, uh, meeting people, trying to trade with some dealers, just their general interactions, I realized pretty quickly, actually I remembered pretty quickly, how hard it is to get them to do what I want them to do when I want them to do it. Talking with one of my content creator friends, he mentioned that uh, just how easy it would be, how uh, versatile it would be, just to have a GoPro, strap it to your chest, um, you know, be off and running, and not miss any footage, which is kind of uh, the important thing. And again, what I realized what was happening. Now, I didn't know a whole lot about what a GoPro was. You know, to me, it was like uh, you know, surfers, snowboarders, skiers. Um, I kind of knew when they came out a while ago, but uh, it just it hadn't been my thing to up until this point. So first off, I actually had to go and look and see, you know, what is a GoPro now? Um, what's the current technology, ratings, prices? And then because I'm a cheapskate, what would be the possibility of me finding a deal on something used? Uh, maybe how cheaply could I find something that was usable? Uh, would make me embarrassed to be using to put it, you know, put out the content. You know, again, I'm, I'm gonna go and look for a deal because that's what I do. So my challenge is to find a used, working, acceptable GoPro for fifty dollars to get me started. The following is not a paid endorsement for GoPro. I mean, seriously, who would pay me? It's also not an unpaid endorsement for GoPro. Frankly, GoPro has simply become the vernacular for any type of action camera. Kind of like any internet search is now Googling. So, I guess, good job, GoPro. My first order of business, whenever I start looking for a used piece of equipment, is to first look at what a new item would offer in terms of technology and price. With constantly improving features and falling prices, the used technology market is often full of items that might seem like a good deal, but in actuality, they aren't. Knowing that I didn't need the latest and greatest, the Hero 10 and 11 models were off the board immediately. But the Hero 9 was still available on the market and was available for $399 with a complete accessory kit. That became my baseline. Another quick Amazon search helped me put a price tag on an accessory kit that would be compatible with nearly any unit that I picked up. At that point, I brushed up really quickly on the release history of the GoPro, looking back in time and seeing when certain features were released with each model. Criticism of the GoPro's microphone capabilities also seemed pretty common. So I looked really quickly into some external microphone capabilities and some different options there. I decided that my must-have features were 1080p recording and an external microphone input. 4K recording, advanced image stabilization, and the second generation body style would be nice features to have, but at my price point, I might not necessarily be able to find them. With my research completed, I prepared to start looking for something between a Hero 4 Black Edition and a Hero 7. With this plan in mind, I hopped on OfferUp to begin my search. I couldn't believe my luck when my very first search immediately returned a listing that looked very promising. A local seller had listed a Hero 4 Black Edition with a few accessories for $80. They had already dropped the price to $60, so this listing looked really worth exploring. Recalling the $25 price point on the accessory package that I would probably need to buy with this unit, I prepared to make a lower offer to see if the buyer had any more wiggle room in his price. I tried to make an offer for $30. But as the seller was only accepting full price offers, I would need to reach out to him in conversation to actually try and make a deal. After a very quick response from the seller and a short conversation, we actually came to a deal at $50 for the camera. So I found a guy that will sell me a GoPro Hero 4 for 50 bucks 
looks like it's pretty bare bones, but um, uh, also looks like a good deal. Um, the, the Hero 4 it does 4K, uh, it does good 1080p. Uh, it doesn't have the new body style, but I think for 50 bucks it's a good deal. Um, I will most likely have to get the accessory kit, but as discussed, we can get that for $20, $25. Um, a three pack of batteries you can get for like 20 bucks. So, um, and then the accessory kit is still compatible with all the newer ones. So if I end up getting a, uh, uh, an upgrade down the road, then all those accessories will transfer right over. So again, I think it's a pretty good deal. So we are going to go get it. All right, so we picked up the GoPro. There it is, 04 with a case and a little mount. It is bare bones. It is not charged, so we can't even test it. Yeah, here, dude, look, there. You can see, there's my little helpers. Got the GoPro. So, we still have to wait. We gotta go home, charge it before we can test it, but we got it. Alright guys, I am out here in my shop. It's been a little while since I've uh, given an update and uh, it's, a, it's been a few days since we actually got home with the GoPro and unfortunately it did not work. Um, I thought I had a bad cable. It's an old USB mini cable and uh, when I bought it it didn't have, uh, it didn't have any of the cables. I thought it would be, yeah I thought it was, uh, it might be dead. Yeah, you know, didn't didn't have a battery charge or whatever, but um, I was like, okay, let me go find a cable. And the one that I had is a little bit sketchy, um, real old. So I was like, okay, well, let's go buy one from Amazon. Spent six or seven bucks. Got one on Amazon the next day. Plugged it in. Still no go. I tried multiple um, power bricks, and it just it just doesn't work. Um, and in fact, here it is, right there. And it's been on the charger for a while, but you, you know, tap the button, nothing, nothing there. Got the cable right here, and if you even go and um, you can actually hear it trying to get hooked up to the computer, but it's just no, no lights, no nothing, power again. So that's the bad news. Now, the good news is that the um, the seller is uh, has stayed in contact with me. I let him know, and we are actually going to try and meet up. He's going to give me a refund, um, and so it is what it is. Um, I tried, I swung, I missed. But more good news is that. Uh, when I knew that it was it was bad, it wasn't going to work out, I went and I put in a number of offers on shipping um, GoPros from elsewhere, and I actually had somebody accept a $100 offer on two GoPros. There's a four silver and a five, um, and it showed up today. So I am actually going to unbox two GoPros for a hundred dollars and let's hope that they actually work this time. Here it is. Box just delivered. GoPro that's not working. That's coffee in the afternoon. Gotta have a cup of coffee. So we will open this up. My wife always picks on me and I say I really wish I had four arms. Here's one of the reasons. It's really difficult to do this one-handed. I think uh, <laughs> think after after I get the GoPros working, my next uh, my next purchase is going to be uh, stands and tripods and such. Because golly, it's very difficult to do this on screen. Now, one of the reasons I'm actually filming this is because I have I've actually used OfferUp's. Um, seller protection before I bought a lot of cards and some guy sent like three and then tried to like sob story me into into holding holding on to the one card but um, you know luckily offer up seller protection worked 
But um, here we go. We are opening this up. I don't know what is in here. It looks like that may just be some more packaging. And it, okay, so it is. It is actually the case, and this was this was part of the part of the picture, which is great. Nope, there's the five. All right. Okay, so that's what they were saying. They were saying that the side door uh, was broken. Um, and so that was disclosed. And I can probably look at getting that, uh, getting a replacement part. No big deal there, but that is the five. And and there is the four. So we got two GoPros and let's see. Again, a lot of times uh, I simply suspect that um, you know batteries are going to be dead and I'm going to have to charge them. But let's see, here's the. Okay, let's. Uh... Whoa, there we go. That one actually came. <laughs> there we go. So it looks like it's working. Right, so so far so good um, right away I got them both plugged in the black one actually had about a 17% charge and once I, I turned it on and actually went through the, uh, the initial quick setup uh, with date and time so that one's got a touch screen and, and um, uh, I did not look through the manual of, of, a, of a five yet so I was I kind of familiarized myself with the, with the four black and so um, I didn't know what the heck it was doing, but it turned on. Um, it's a touch screen, gives you a little quick guide. It, it, it seems like the um, previous owner probably did like a factory default or something. So I went through the quick setup on the uh, on the five and on the four silver, which does not have a touch screen right there. Um, at least we plugged it in and we've got power showing. So I'm just gonna charge those both up. Um, again, I think you saw we got a we got a, a card, so we'll try that out later. But uh, it does appear that I've got two, two for the price of one heroes. So here's the point in the video where a real YouTuber would say like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good jazz. Now someday I might be so bold, but today I'm simply gonna say thanks for watching. I hope that you've been at least mildly entertained up until now and maybe even picked up a tip or a trick that'll help you while you're out there looking for your own deals. If you recall, at the beginning of this video, the point was to see if I could find an acceptable used GoPro for $50. Now I've spent a little bit more than that, but I've also gotten quite a bit more than that. So let's go ahead and recap everything that's going on so far, how much I've spent, and you can decide whether I did well or not. We started things off with our $50 spend on the first GoPro. While trying to get the first GoPro to work, I spent $7 on a new mini USB cable. After concluding that I wasn't going to be able to get the first Hero 4 to work, I purchased a Hero 5 Black and Hero 4 Silver for $117. Once I was confident that the new units were going to work out, I spent $27 on the universal accessory kit that I would found during research. I also spent $14 on the replacement side door for the Hero 5 that was disclosed during the sale. After playing around with the GoPros for a while, I decided it was time for some of the upgrades that I was pretty sure were going to happen. Namely, the GoPro 5 required an adapter for an external microphone, an actual microphone, and a new case that fit the adapter for the microphone. Total for those three items, plus a couple other small accessories, $90. At this point, recall how earlier in the video, I mentioned that I'd stayed in touch with the initial seller of the GoPro 4 that ended up not working. 
that was the case and after i met with him a week or two later not only did he refund me my fifty dollars but he let me keep the not working unit as it was no good to him as an added bonus i was even able to sell the not working gopro for parts of repair on ebay and recoup twenty one dollars uh, shout out to a Mr. Fixit. I hope that uh, not working GoPro worked out well for you and you were able to repair it. Recouping that additional $21 put the final tally for this project at $234 spent. While that number is quite a bit higher than the initial $50 goal that I set out for myself, I'm really not that disappointed. In fact, I'm pretty pleased. If I simply look at the $100 purchase for two units, that pretty well sums it up. When we take into consideration the value of the accessories that were included, I think that the value of this deal really starts to shine. Some of the key accessories that really added to these deals were the expansion battery for the Hero 4 Silver, an additional battery for each unit, and three memory cards, including two 120 gigabyte and one 64 gigabyte card that in today's Amazon dollars is about 30 bucks. So again, I'm pretty pleased with how things turned out. Whether you agree or disagree with me, feel free to let me know if you want. Either way, this chapter is coming to an end. It's time for me to stop talking about buying these GoPros and get out and use them. The next card show is coming up pretty soon here, and the boys and I are already making our plans.